I have wanted a public access show for years, and I've never encountered people with talent who were willing to risk, you know, being seen by other people. I feel like I finally found what I want to do when I grow up. Like several advanced degrees later, several countries I've lived in later, and I moved to Hawaii and do a public access show to find what I want to do with the rest of my life. It's incredible. Um, in a time where you look around the world and in our nation, you see so much division. What Alelo does really, it binds people together. It, it creates a sense of community. And, and I think for that, it's very important. You know, if we look at issues right now, of free speech and things like that, I mean, Alelo stands for that. I mean, Alelo, uh, if I'm not mistaken, means the voice. And that's what it, that's absolutely what it is. And there's everything on Alelo, as you know, from religious programming uh, to the types of things that we do uh, that sometimes are on late night. Uh, but it's all out there, and uh, I think we really appreciate that type of format and exposure. It has made me realize that all you need is determination to do anything. And fortunately, myself and all of the people I'm working with are focused and determined. And so we have been just growing incredible strides since we've been doing this. Very few places in life do you, do you find a group of people uh, that truly binds together and acts like a family and truly understands what empowerment is and does that. Um, we came here and I think of fear when you first walk in, you're trying something new, uh, but the amount of support that we felt, the kindness that was expressed to us on a consistent basis from then until now uh, has kept us going. And uh, we're very thankful for that. Mm -hmm.